All right, so we just defeated the undead dragon boss. And now... Kill most everyone over here. Breathe deep and move. Are there any more guards in this room? For us to take out. It's like, no. Okay, well, now that that's done, what quests do we have to deal with? Devil, 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 devil. Find mole. Where, I gotta find mole. She is then. <clears throat> she is down in the guild hall. So we'll go. Yeah, if you ever want to find my party in this game, just follow the trail of corpses. Eventually, you'll stumble across my character. So I've killed everybody. We'll get the roof stash um, after we kill Gortash. Gortash. Probably a better way into there around here. I think this over here is the Yeah, we'll go over this way. We actually didn't even go over here yet, so we need to do that. Hello there. Stop! What are you doing? Are you trying to sneak <laughs> past us, grunts? <coughs> Do not worry. <laughs> Guild's friends are Tuskrunt's friends. And I don't hurt my friends. Unless they deserve it. Well, thank you. Moving ahead. Oh, what a delightfully secluded alley. I would have been in my element here once. <laughs> but you consort with a better class of people now, right? What's upstairs here? A different class of It's like a ruin. And a different type of consorting. Let's just Hello, this pile of bodies? Yes, here, me. Let's go ahead and look around. Well, whatever that is, that's highly destroyed. Curious what's in this locked door over here. Well, hello. Asterion, please open it, please. we have Lynn Acres pouch Caldwell's pouch Petrier's letter series of letters issued in personal desk of a city uh, Petrier 
Apologize to the outline that it would be it would not look proper for a member of the government to attend the guild hall in person. So that it grows more uh, aspicuous before the final issue cha changes the tack entirely. It would be of course uh, it would of course please me to attend the guild master in person. Uh, we need to speak more of my debts. Concerning my debt hatch. Let's hope for gold. Go ahead and lockpick that, whatever Let's that is. Crack it open. <laughs> Guild ring. These tools. What's down the hatch? Uh, logging out and logging back in the Twitch every week helps with a lot of bugs that happen. Let's be quick. That might be worth a look. What is that over there? Oh. A trail. Someone doesn't like visitors. What is in here? Guild ring, gold, fire ender. Lots of letters. Not too worried about those right now. Uh, the light should be in stock. Let me re restart the app. Let's see if that fixes it. Okay, app's, app's been restarted, so the points for light should work now. Time to press ahead. Mole should be somewhere down here. I must have missed her. Oh, she's right there. I just missed her. Wow, look who it is. Glad to see you in the city. Hope you found plenty of coin in Ketwick's coffers. Ready to do some business? Good to see you again. What are you up to this time? Oh, I've got a few ideas. I'll be running this whole place in no time. Oh, we found Mole. She's stop. fine. Ready to do some business? Is this guild business you're running here? Sure is. We work for Fetcher, handling what you might call pre-owned goods. Talk to Sticky. He'll cut you a deal. Sticky, the guy running away from my elemental. Hello, Sticky. Fetcher isn't himself, so I'm running the shop. You buying or selling? Maybe to both. Show me what you got. Stealth the critical. While hiding, the number needed to roll critical is reduced by one. It's pretty good. That's not bad. I will take it. Sometimes stuff we sell comes back around to us again. So watch yourself. Got me? Maybe. Yeah, uh, I was reading last night the cut content in this game. And it seems like they cut all of the upper city, um, which had a lot of quest lines in it. So I'm guessing at some point they will do a definitive edition of the game where they'll finish the upper city. And then they will, uh, and then once they finish it, they'll release it. And then they'll add it back in those quest lines and stuff. It's not like they just didn't have enough time to get left, it done. Left, right, down the stairs. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, it feels like a piece of Act 3 is missing, which is the 
there's quite a few quest lines that sort of end because like, you could tell that they this right here was going to be the upper city and they they had to cut it unfortunately but hopefully they get it fit finished and they add it back in at some point and I'm sure as they're doing that they'll find ways to add in um, probably other classes and maybe more abilities and stuff more feats and things The only place left to go is the devil. So let's go to the devil. Yeah, Casador, to get into Casador's castle, you go in through this back guardway. Instead of where it was obviously intended there to be a front entrance to his castle here. But no and Larian, they are the developers that aren't just going to run away. They're going to finish it and release it later as a free update. Because they're good devs like that. I noticed that Carlac doesn't have any additional quest line in Act Three, which is strange. But you can tell that her act, her was probably in the upper city. Let's go ahead and get a long rest to recharge all our slots and stuff. We just have an open portal to hell. I doubt. Uh. Well, let's go chat with Will. Just what I need. I failed. The heart of the gate is dead. We need to see my father. He should know what happened with Ansu. The Absolute's voice is gone, but I still hear its echoes. Reflections of reflections. Tell him about your battle with Anser. A terrible fate for Anser, my son. Yet my hopes for the city's future have never been higher. I failed, father. The worm is fallen. A terrible fate for Anser, my son. Yet my hopes for the city's future have never been higher. I don't understand. You and your allies slayed the undead terror that was once the great answer. You are stronger than even the great worm. You will be the one to part the storms and lead the people through. You, not answer, are the savior we need. First, you will fell the absolute then we will rebuild Baldur's Gate. We will take back our city together. I will name you Baldur's Gate's newest Grand Duke of the Council. You will be hailed Heart of the Gate. Grand Duke, I look the part of a fiend. I will tell the citizens and the patriarchs of your good works. They will know you carry your father's banner. Uncertainty fills the air. Will has reached a fork in his path. In which direction will he travel? You're a hero, not an aristocrat. The Blade is a champion. Duke Will Ravengard is not. Will? I fought to right the wrongs of the coast. To slay the men and monsters that hunt the helpless. It is in the wilds that I find my courage, not in the halls of upper city estates. There will be no Grand Duke Will Ravenguard, and there will be no Blade of Frontiers. I am now the Blade of Avernus. For as long as demons and devils imperil the Sword Coast, they will be my prey. Then go with my blessing. Be Faerun's great defender. Courage, insight, strategy, justice. Let these be the lights that guide you, my son. Hail, 
The Blade of Avernus. The Blade of Avernus! A calm settles over you. The Elder Brain is a menace, but with the Blade of Avernus at your side, you know you can triumph. Can we, though? Well, looks like uh, Will's quest line is completed. The Blade of Avernus. How marvelous. It rolls right off the tongue. Tell me, little bug, who should Will's first target be? <coughs> Gortash, Bl Bane's chosen. The terrible tyrant himself. Strike him down, bug. Let freedom's bells ring. The brain won't be too far beyond. But what about the next battle? And the next? How mighty will the stalwart blade be without warlock powers to help him? Tell me you haven't forgotten. Once the absolute is no more, so is my aid. Well, perhaps I might pay a visit once he's settled. Offer some advice. A bit of infernal altruism, if you will. Ah, the thrill of the unknown. I can't wait to see how this epic plays out. Goodbye. That's right, he won't be a warlock anymore after. But he could be a good fighter, maybe. Rest. No, I'm not the Duke. I I'm not a royal blood. Will is, though. But Will's going to be a hero. He's not going to settle down for that. Steeped in bliss. Okay, let's go back. Yeah, I don't know what happened to the night nice song. She kind of just vanished. Let's go ahead and save. After we did her quest line, she just kind of disappeared. All right, let's go into hell. This will be fun. Up. We're literally in hell right now. Emperor's full and sudden. Raphael's doing no doubt. Still breathing. Despite everything. Alright. Now it's time to look around uh Oh. You know, hell. This house of hope is in the middle of hell. Great. Pillar of souls. A sense of overwhelming loss flows from the pillar. There are souls inside, damned and forgotten. Seems. What does that plaque say there? You came. Such a shame. Curiosity killed all the cats. It won't be so kind to you. As the woman speaks, you hear a distant rattle of chains, and she winces in pain. <sighs> the jailer will hear us. I shouldn't be talking to you. I must go. It's not kind to me. The figure flickers and starts to dim from view, but you sense she could be convinced to return. Uh, wait, don't go. Who are you? The figure shimmers brightly. Your words seem to have piqued her curiosity. Who, who am I? Oh, that's my favorite question. 
I scream it into the dark while I sleep. And whisper it to my memories when I wake. I'm the thing that kills you and the only reason you're alive. Made by a promise, and done by the truth. A handshake, a hug, the first beat of a newborn's heart. I am hope. What little is left of her. A guttering candle in a universe of night. I'm not much of a friend to anyone anymore. But I could use a friend myself. Do you want a friend to guide you through this madhouse? I hear the jailer. It hears me. It'll call Raphael, make every question count. Make some of them count twice. Uh... I need to find the Orphic Hammer. Can you help? Discovered an ancient gate, Prince, in need of a savior? The Orphic Hammer is the perfect tool for breaking all infernal chains. Hope can help. The hammer is here in this <coughs> house. It's... You hear a sound like the rattle of a chain and an agonizing scream in your head as hope flickers from view momentarily. Shh. Even you, especially me. And that makes them dangerous, but it also makes them stupid. I'll make you seem as ruined as the rest of the people here. A simple glamour to make you a terrible wretch. <laughs> now whisper your questions, little wretch. But really quiet and very clever. Concentrate. Uh, prepare to speak in your finest stage whisper. Paladin performance. Seek, speak as the whispered promise, soft but assured. Nailed it. Crit. Remember, quiet as a mouse. I need to find the hammer. Where is it? The same place you'll find your sorry little soul when Raphael rips it out. In the archive down the corridor <laughs> past the debtors. Oh, the debtors. They won't like you. But I like you. I know <laughs> I do. I think I do. I hope I do. I just need to ask one question and I'll know for sure. First, answer more of my questions. No, 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 it's my turn. I never asked this of anybody. Nobody was capable, nobody was worthy, nobody was good enough, but you, you have it all. Can you save me? Please, 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 please. If I can, I will, what needs to be done? All right. You have to listen very, very, very closely. I will say this only once. Find the key, take the hammer, smash my chains. Find the key, take the hammer, smash my chains. Find the key, take the hammer, smash my chains. But be careful when you take the hammer. Only the once. The fire will come, and Raphael, you must run, 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 run. But don't forget me. Please, please, please. I don't want to burn. Not again. The rattle of chains echoes louder from unseen places. And without a scream or a sigh, hope disappears. I don't get the cut cart, uh, content argument. Well, what's... The things that were cut in this game are kind of big things. Like, some of your companions' quests are sort of randomly end without any like you. there's no like conclusion to their quests for example because the area that their quest was in was kind of cut out of the game so it just feels like there's a piece missing every game has cut content every single one of them 
but the stuff that's cut from this was kind of a big piece because uh, Baldur's Gate's made up of three locations outer city uh, lower city and upper city and they even said in interviews in the past um, that they had made the upper city lower city and outer city but it seems like they must have ran out of time and couldn't quite get the whole of it done by launch so they just cut it for now but hopefully hopefully they are they will get it finished at some day and then put it back into the game and then also put the quests that are supposed to be there back in the game as well. Like, Carlac, for example, her quest kind of ends in Act 2. And then there's nothing else in Act 3 for her. Because her quest was in the upper city. She's got a little bit in the a lower city, but her, like, quest quest was in the upper city. And now that it's gone, her quest kind of just stagnates, for example. It's one example of something that the, the upper city being cut. Also, uh, when you do Asterion's quest, to get into the castle, you have to go through a guard tower in the lower city and then, like, in a back door instead of the front. Or it's just a little a little strange. It's not like it makes the game bad or anything. It's just it feels like there's something missing. But the game is already 100-plus hours of amazing, wonderful content. And if it, if it was cut, they will probably be working on it and fix it later with a definitive edition where they'll put it back in so don't worry it'll it'll be back at some point it's just it's kind of gone for right now uh oh that's a big old mess what the all of the residents will guests and all of the guests will be residents that looks disgusting I didn't eat that when he offered it to me before. Another sorry soul come to wander these halls. What do you seek? I need to find the archive. I cannot help you. This is not my home. Even if I can never leave. What ties you to the House of Hope? I was an architect in life, a builder of tombs and temples, but mostly of towers. My proudest work reached for the stars and sought to dry Seluna's tears. It was a monument to life and to virtue, and a happy home to my master for many years. What went wrong? Deaths in the family. Happiness rarely lasts a lifetime. When tragedy came, my master fell into darkness and despair. He marshaled a great army to ruin the world and bring all into shadow. I could not let it happen. I sought out the devil, Raphael, and signed an infernal pact with him. He promised to destroy my master's army, and I promised him my soul in return. The devil was true to his word. Fiends slaughtered my master's forces, but he endured somehow and blighted the land. This is a familiar tale. Are you the architect of Moonrise Towers? You know my work. Oh, I am glad it ends yours. Perhaps you also have the misfortune of knowing my master, General Catholic Thorm. By my oath. I did what the fiends could not, and vanquished Catherick Thorm. It all came to pass as I had hoped, <laughs> though a century too late for my family and friends. Your actions may have justified the price of my soul. <laughs> I 
Thank you. Tell me, what became of my pride? What became of Moonrise Towers? Ah. Uh... The tower still stands, but it's but it is a hollow place now. Perhaps one day, new life will find it. Thank you. Now go. Finish your business here and leave while you can. Uh, why does this place look so nasty? Raphael. A record in Raphael's own hand to tell adventures of various travelers for you, including yours. The desperate will do anything to get out of a bind that mind flayer toys with its food, but it'll become hungry soon enough, and they'll have proven uh, such malleable little things. The crown for the hammer. More than reasonable traders, I think. After all, what use is power if you don't have freedom? It's true. <laughs> uh, mocking eternal dasher. <laughs> one, two, three. One, two, three. Don't look at me. I'm, I'm dancing. I love to dance. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> This is this. Everyone here is normal. This is okay. You, you, are you good? I try to be. You can't be. No one can. No matter how straight we stand, how much we smile. I tried. I tried, but I don't think I can ever be good. Instead, I'll be perfect. Um, what? <laughs> such a beautiful house. Oh, such a beautiful house. Uh, right. Everyone in here is off their freaking rocker. Let's get going. Something's not right. Should mind my step. Outer portals. Wait, there's a bunch of portals to this. Over here. What, ma'am? You know, for all the sense of dread and horror seeping through this place, I really feel quite at home here. That's weird. When is a door not a door? When it's a jam jar. You won't find a way out here, or a way in. What is this place? This is the Chamber of Egress. The portals here crisscross the plains, but they won't open to the likes of you and me. This is how Raphael consults with his clients so efficiently, no matter the time, no matter the place, and it's how he stalks his prey. There must be something useful here. Oh, there is, there is. If you stare into the portals long enough, your mind starts to do cartwheels and tricks you into thinking you're falling into a horrible yawning void. It's one of my favorite ways to pass the time. But you have no time to waste, or time will waste you. And what you need from the house is in the archive. Not here! Uh, hello. Stay out of my way! Don't touch anything and keep quiet. I've had enough pests bothering me today. I don't need another. What is this place? The Chamber of Egress. Way station of the hells. Providing access to Raphael's clientele, wherever they might make their home. I am its keeper, New Baldin. Very much not at your service. Do you know Hope? 
the greatest pest of all. I've always thought hope to be a dirty, empty little word. She suits it well. Who is she? A nasty little optimist who doesn't have the good sense to lose her mind completely like the rest of us. She has a rather loathsome habit of popping into existence all over the house to shout words of encouragement to the other denizens. It's most irksome. That but sounds horrible. Her appearances are just a trick of the light. Her corporeal form is down in the dark, bound by unbreakable chains in Raphael's dungeon. It used to be my prison. New Baldin's very own pit of pain. I was its keeper. <laughs> That was a very long time ago. Why don't you work in the prison anymore? I made a mistake. Raphael doesn't tolerate mistakes. We had one house guest by the name of Gortash. A mischievous little blot of a boy, and he slipped through my fingers. <laughs> Gortash was here? Lord Enver Gortash? <laughs> Lord? Is that what he calls himself these days? The sniveling little shit. <laughs> He was the son of a cobbler or some such meager tradesman sold to Raphael by his loving parents to pay off a petty debt. <laughs> Lord, indeed. I used to bruise my knuckles on his whimpering little face. I'd like to have snapped his neck. Uh, <laughs> I just did this house. It was a great area. So far, this area seems amazing. I'd like to snap his neck myself. Then why not get to the snapping of necks instead of the flapping of lips? I'm tired of you. I'd like to visit the, pr the, the prison. Where is it? What interest do you have in the prison? Just tell me where it is where I rip out whatever's left of your soul. Turn left when you exit this chamber and clamber down the hatch that leads beneath the house. With any luck, the guards will swallow you whole, you repugnant little scrap. <laughs> I'd like to spend some time torturing the inmates. <laughs> we all must have our hobbies, I suppose. <laughs> all right, all right. Turn left when you exit this chamber, and you will find a hatch that leads beneath the house. That's where they keep the naughtiest souls. I do watch out for the guards, though. They're not as reasonable as you and I. Thank you, sir. Portal to Baldur's Gate, Waterdeep, Neverwinter, Athlacta, Mephistar, Luscrian. Chat, we're gonna go in the Neverwinter Nights. Here we go. Neverwinter, Jewel of the North. Neverwinter, Jewel of the North. I wonder if the cult of the Absolute has influenced there as well. Athkatla, 
City of coin, capital of arm. They say the streets are paved with gold. Water deep. Crown of the North. Water deep. The forces of the absolute could threaten even the city of splendors if they were to reach it. This portal leads directly to the frigid citadel of Mephista, nestled in the hells. Mephista, home to the archdevil Mephistopheles. Raphael's bold indeed if he ever visits uninvited. Yeah, at Ath Kato, uh, sorry. Ath Katla was uh, the main place in Baldur's Gate 2. Ath Katla. Ath Katla. Fortunes await. Menzo Baranzin, City of Spiders. Of course, Raphael has dealings <coughs> in the depths of the Underdark. Luskin. Luskin, City of Sails, at the far north of the Sword Coast, in the shadow of the spine of the world. Said so turn left and then go. Oh, right there, prison hatch. What's in here? Ooh, it's so pretty. Pretty hellscape. That's that's nice. There is some way to go throughout here. It's got a nice view of, you know, hell. Very fun. Kill me. Kill me, please. Okay. There you go. Ah! What? You said kill you. That you why would you lie? You said I he asked me if to do him a favor and I do it and he yells at me. That's why I can't nice things anymore. I know all I wanted was to help him out and he's all like no. There was a sh On my way. Ma'am, are you on the ground like a dog? Yes, you are. <laughs> Gold leader, thank you for that resub. Right. I like to watch the door to the boudoir. I like to see who goes in, who comes back out, and who never does. Does Raphael mind you're watching his comings and goings? Why? It was his idea. Here I watch, forever and forever. Oh, I can never join in, but I'll always look. Do you know what goes on inside that room? <laughs> oh, I like to peep through the keyhole. There's so much to see, so much to see. Okay. Show your invitation. Show your invitation. Show your invitation. 
I don't have one. Oh, I'll give it a shot. Let your heart be glad, let your tongue rejoice, and let your soul rest forever in this house of hope. Got a lot of statues of himself. Inner balcony. Taming Hope Part Two. Corilla's chance of conversation with Raphael and her sister Hope. We're missing Part One. I'll take this with me though. Guile. The face that masks a thousand lies. Um, what's that? Cham that chamber pot? Why is it full? Ew. Away. This is Raphael's chamber pot. Uh, are you the guardian of the place where he poops into a bucket? It's admirer, it's protector, it is my one true beloved. You're in love with a bucket of shit? Uh... An overpowering stench singes your nostrils. Nothing good happened here. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, there's a rat. Do I have a speak with animals potion? So do. I mean, two minds: the rat and the man, the man and the rat. They gnaw at one another. Which one will be the meat, and which one will be the tooth? How'd you get up here? She did my chums, took everything and ran. The kindly devil hid me from them, made sure they'd never find me. I skitter now, best at the litter, and hungry, want victual sweet with a rot. Simply life, but harder. Uh, if you play Divinity Original Sin, you'll have a pretty good grasp of the basics of how this game will work. The game is based on a different combat system, though. So you have to learn uh, Dungeon Dragons combat, but it's pretty straightforward and easy to learn. You look positively wretched. Perfect. Hello again, little mice. The price for speaking is steep, but I must give warning. Your prize is just ahead in the archive, but you can't take it yet. And even if you could, you mustn't. Trigger the alarm, and Raphael will come swooping home on wings of malice to rip out your soul. In this house, thieves are melted like butter and spread onto toast. Shh. I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again. Could you just stay calm, Hope, and guide me? I can. I shall. I can. I shall. The archivist is the key. But he's as stubborn as a king and as serious as a heart attack. Exploit his fiddling weakness and make him grovel! Oh no. They hear me. Speak quickly, speak softly. You know how this goes. Concentrate and speak softly without emotion. You study your mind and prepare your questions. It's a great character. She's like trying desperately not to go mad. This realm kind of reminds me of what what I would ex some, expect Shea Goras realm in Elder Scrolls to be like. Realm of madness. How should I deal with the archivist? He fears authority figures. Perhaps his teacher took a strap to him and left a deep impression at an early age. There's one regular visitor that he particularly fears. She is... Shh. A crack like...
like breaking bone. Hope winces. What is Arcus Fear Hope? I need that name. Scarier things than you, you little mice. Virilius. Virilius Receptor. A High Inquisitor of Zariel. Officially entitled to audit Raphael's collection. Her true form is so gargantuan and mind-scarring to behold that she takes on many guises when she visits. Play your part well and you can be one of those blasphemous guises. Ah. Well, I will uh, use that. is very indulgent of you, Correa, but I will not let you bring disorder well, into well, the well. archive. Look what we have here. Who are you? Can't resist the faintest hint of a temptation, can you? I suppose that makes two of us. That little disguise Hope gave you is adorable. I can see right through it, of course. And so will Raphael. He's going to notice you nosing around his house. I hope you're ready to face a very angry devil. What are you do? What are you doing here? Me? This is home base. I'm not even going to ask what you're doing here. Plausible deniability. Might want to steer clear of my sister Hope, though. She's mad as a March hare. If she'd just agreed to serve Raphael, he'd probably have released her a long time ago. As things stand, she's his favorite toy mad here but hope in hell why that's the definition of insanity hope is your sister she is though we've got about as much in common as a princess and a pauper Raphael offered her the world she didn't want it he sweetened the deal she said no no matter how many times he upped the ante, she just laughed in his face. He didn't like that. Eventually, he took her by force, trapped her and swore he wouldn't let her go till she gave him what he wanted. Conversion. The stubborn ass has endured more torment than any soul should be able to. Even when he took all of her skin, she held on to hope. Ew. Raphael finds that puzzling. And he loves puzzles. You being here is another puzzle. You don't seem like you want to die. You want my advice? Enjoy whatever life remains to you. When Raphael catches you, you'll never enjoy anything again. I will smite him. The guest? Are you a client of the master or a visitor from elsewhere in the hells i do not believe you were invited one moment i shall consult the visitor's schedule hmm. Hmm. his eyes flicker back and forth as if he is reading a book he has the schedule memorized or it's carved into his eyelids hmm. most irregular the schedule is all but clear, and yet you are here. I'm Virilis Receptor, Zeriel's High Inquisitor. Thousand apologies, O oh majestic magistrate of the infernal court. Your mortal guise is so vile, I found it perfectly convincing. I would prostrate myself before you and kiss your calluses, but my spine is ruptured in a thousand places. You do know how Raphael likes to play. As always, the archive is yours to peruse. You'll find everything accounted for. And I can present documents of procurement if necessary.
Can I take a look at the crown of Carsis? <laughs> <clears throat> Most droll, Inquisitor. As you well know, the crown of Carsis is lost, stolen from Mephistopheles by gods kissing mortals. My master certainly had nothing to do with any of that business. Let's see the hammer, please. An exquisite and most unique artifact. Crafted with materials hewn from the depths of the hells by Raphael's Merrigan labor force. As it was created by Raphael himself, we have no documents of procurement, nor do we require any. But if you wish to examine the artifact itself, you are more than welcome. As part of the special collection, that item is guarded by a master word that even I do not know. I suggest you wait until Raphael returns, and you can discuss the matter with him. A master You are welcome word. to relax in the boudoir until then. It is where Raphael conducts his most private matters of business and pleasure. You will need this to gain access. The resident of the boudoir will wish to explore every inch of your new form, and I'm sure you will be happy to share. Yes, they can explore my, uh, my form. Looks like there's the hammer right there. Uh, they're, they're just gonna explore my form. You know. Sex. 